Good morning, Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist, Barrett Vents, and we're seeing similar conditions from this past weekend continue as we're starting off the work week with this high pressure over to, to the southwest. This is going to be keeping us in those similar conditions with a pretty warm temperatures. So if you want to escape the heat, get to those higher elevation regions like this picture I took this past weekend. Pinion Mesa it was beautiful up there. I didn't know that uh, we had that many aspen trees out there past Glade Park. Honestly, a great area. Turkey Flats was a blast with nice temperatures, even though we were really hot in the valleys. We're going to be cranking up the heat this week with triple digits on the way. You'll notice a gradual warming trend throughout the work week with showers in the higher elevations. And then we're going to start seeing some chances for showers on the western slope later on this week. Beautiful colors this morning on that sunrise on America's Mattress Live Tower Camp. Temperatures 71 degrees. We're starting off a little bit warm this morning. We're going to be gradually approaching highs a little bit warmer than those averages, but triple digits later this week with that warming trend are going to give us those above average conditions. We're seeing this moisture push through from the north. We're not going to be seeing chances for showers here on the western slope. We've seen clear conditions in the overnight hours. This is going to continue throughout the next few days with clouds impacting the higher elevations in the central and southern mountains with shower potential associated with this. We won't see this on the western slope with clear skies ahead. This is going to give us more of that energy from the sun as sunshine is mostly going to be the case here on the western slope. You'll notice plenty of sunshine this week before we start seeing changes towards the end of the week. Winds right around 15 miles an hour pretty consistently as well. So hopefully you'll notice this calm down the temperature with a little bit of a breeze. Overall, though, we're seeing a continuation of this warm trend from this high pressure. This was the similar setup we saw a couple weeks ago with a high pressure getting centered kind of right where this high pressure is, and this brought 106 degree temperatures for record breaking temperatures a couple weeks ago. A similar setup to start the week, work week out this week with this high pressure, leaving us with some warm conditions throughout the entire western United States. So higher elevation regions will be your friend, especially in the afternoon hours whenever we start seeing this heat take over. Temperatures today seeing 95 in Grand Junction with 90s in Delta and Paonia, 80s kind of everywhere else, triple digits out in Moab. Tonight getting down to the 50s and 60s and then tomorrow a continuation of the warm air. 97 in Grand Junction, 95 in Delta, Paonia with lower 80s in the higher elevations and lower 90s as well. Expect those warm temperatures. Dry conditions still on the drought monitor, so hopefully we'll see those showers at the end of the week. We're going to be seeing that moisture push through, increasing in cloud coverage on Thursday. Before that, though, a warming trend to get us to those triple digit temperatures by the mid work week with Montrose just slightly cooler. Remaining in the 80s today and tomorrow before 90s take over on Wednesday, and chances for showers to wrap the work week this week.